If you believe in yourself and have dedication and pride, and never quit, you'll be a winner. The price of victory is high but so are the rewards. Never quit. It is the easiest cop-out in the world. Set a goal and don't quit until you attain it. When you do attain it, set another goal, and don't quit until you reach it. Never quit. There's a lot of blood, sweat, and guts between dreams and success. If anything goes bad, I did it. If anything goes semi-good, we did it. If anything goes really good, then you did it. That's all it takes to get people to win football games for you. You never know how a horse will pull until you hook him to a heavy load. Winning isn't everything, but it beats anything that comes in second. In a crisis, don't hide behind anything or anybody. They're going to find you anyway. Don't give up at half time. Concentrate on winning the second half. The fun never goes out, but it changes with the years, with winning and losing. If we'd beaten him, I wouldn't be going out. I've had many a player tell me all through high school and right up until signing day that they were coming to Alabama, then they sign with somebody else. A good, quick, small team can beat a big, slow team any time. I didn't have a thing to do with picking a coach, and didn't want to. But I didn't think they'd pick one I didn't like. Back 12 years ago, when Dr. Matthews was president here, we had a plan that when I got ready to quit, we'd bring a certain guy in and he'd take over that day and I'd leave. But as time wore on, I realized that wouldn't have been good at all. Nearly every coach I've talked with tells me that the attention you get from media and other people is the thing you miss most. I don't know if that's right. If I miss coaching that much, I could go to some little school where they didn't recruit, where all the kids wanted to go. I believe I could find somewhere to coach. If you whoop and holler all the time, the players just get used to it. Georgia Tech beat us and Mississippi Southern tied us last year, and Texas beat us after we had the game won. We only played about five games the way we were capable of playing and lost one of those. Show class, have pride, and display character. If you do, winning takes care of itself. Winning isn't everything, but it sure beats anything that comes in second. Never be too proud to get down on your knees and pray. There's no substitute for guts. No coach has ever won a game by what he knows, it's what his players know that counts. I'll put you through hell, but at the end of it all we'll be champions. I ain't nothing but a winner. I want to make sure I don't interfere with the success of that team next year. I don't see any way I could go to practice like most of them do, and not hurt the team. I'd go nuts if I tried doing that. It's nice to have the opportunity to play for so much money, but it's nicer to win it. I think I'm telling the truth. I sat by Ray Perkins at the Hall of Fame dinner in New York, and at that time he didn't know he was our coach and I didn't either. I hope to get out before they start football next year. I'm happy with the coach we have. I think any one of the ones I asked them to consider would have been good. I plan on staying at Alabama for the rest of my career. I guarantee that I'll be here for you through it all, regardless of what happens. There's no use fussing on a boy who doesn't have any ability. I can remember loving to recruit. I knew I was going to do my best. But traveling and recruiting doesn't appeal to me anymore. It's not as much fun as it used to be. It's been years since I've had a real input in the game anyway. For this game, I've just tried to keep all the other stuff away from the players and coaches.